You know, my friends give me a lot of crap about buying new film cameras all the time, and I used to be pretty bad about it, I'll admit, but I haven't bought a new film camera in, I think, eight months now since my Mamiya 6 that I got from Midwest Photo. So it's been a while, but um, I broke down and just picked up a Mamiya C330 again. And I thought since it's been a while since I've gotten a new film camera or old film camera, I would go ahead and open it up with you guys and just share this experience. And it arrived in a shoebox. <laughs> so that's a first. I'm sure it's packaged up just fine. Got this from my buddy Ray. Uh, I was super excited to pick it up from a friend, someone I know has taken good care of this camera. Um, Mamiya C330 has always been one of my favorites. It's funny, I was kind of anticipating getting this camera again, so I went back and watched an old video on my channel from uh, 2014 so it's been a while and it was interesting kind of giving myself a refresher on uh, how to load the camera you know all the kind of ins and outs so that was interesting okay a box within a box see I knew it was gonna be packaged up just fine but I posted about getting this and a lot of people on Instagram were asking why pick up the Mamiya C330 since you already have a 6x6 camera which is a fair question. Um, mainly, I can shoot really close with this camera. It has bellows focusing. That's one of my favorite things about the C330 is that you can focus much closer than you can with other 6x6 cameras, specifically a rangefinder like the Mamiya 6. So that's definitely the best part. It's definitely a lot bigger than most TLR cameras, but uh, it makes up for it just by being able to focus so close. Absolutely love it. So you can kind of see in there, there's a, a vertical rectangle inside on the focusing screen. And I'm assuming this is a guide for shooting a 35 millimeter roll adapted into this. So that way you can shoot uh, a full 35 millimeter frame, you know, over the sprocket holes and everything. I've never tried that before, but now I actually might try that because that seems like it'd be pretty fun. Let's see, it's not fun. Oh. It's all coming back to me. If the film isn't loaded, you have to set it to multi-exposure, and that way, then the shutter will fire. Man, this is awesome. It has been a while. If you're not familiar with the C330, this is actually an interchangeable lens TLR, and that's another thing that makes this such a capable system. You not only have the bellows focusing, meaning you can focus really close without having to use any kind of close-up filters, but you can actually change the lens as well. They offer a wider and a longer lens. This is the 80 millimeter, so it's your normal focal length on 6x6, and it's an f2.8 lens. Typically, if you're going to be buying a TLR with an f2.8 lens, you're looking at something like a Roloflex, which you're going to be spending a lot more money on, and he's sold this kit to me for $300 shipped. That is definitely a good price. Ray is a good friend, so I kind of got lucky there, but you can still find good deals on this camera as well as the other lenses for it. I am definitely going to be doing some videos with this camera, walking around, shooting around town, I'm sure, maybe doing a portrait session with it. Anything you guys might like to see specifically on this camera, just let me know. Um, also, I'm about to take this on a trip tonight. We're staying at this really cool Airbnb out in Hocking Hills. There will be a full video about that coming soon. If you follow me on Instagram you've probably already seen some photos by the time this goes up this is going up on Monday as a matter of fact if you're seeing this on Monday tomorrow a video is coming out that I can't talk about right now but the embargo lifts on Tuesday morning so then that video can go up very excited about that video so keep an eye out for Tuesday there will be two videos this week uh, but yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed all the other videos. This was obviously different than the usual video. It was more of just kind of me sharing a camera I'm picking up again. But uh, if you're new here and you like this video, uh, there are new videos every Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But that's it for today. I'm going to go ahead and load this thing up and go shoot with it. So thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.